out. This is all that remains of Star's second pumpkin. Uh, she stole it while I wasn't looking and ate a little bit more of it than I would have liked. Who knows, maybe she'll poop out a pumpkin. Are you going to poop out a pumpkin? Huh? Are you going to poop out a pumpkin? Huh? You're just crazy. You're just crazy. Yes, you are. You're pretty, but you're nuts. So I'd like to wish everybody happy Halloween. <laughs> she still wants it. Uh, unfortunately, Halloween is kind of a bittersweet holiday for me. She's like, you know, I'd really like that. Um, my neighbors used to have a parrot. Her name was Charlie. We, they actually thought it was a boy until she laid an egg. <laughs> um, but I used to go over there pretty much every weekend and clean her water, give her food, make them clean her cage. Um, like I had said to, I believe it was Anthony Chihuahua. Um, like a lot of parrots, she was kind of sadly ignored. But... Um, during a party, uh, someone actually intentionally burned me with a hot object. And after that, because I, I didn't want to deal with that particular person or to run into them, I decided that I was no longer going to be going over there. Um, however, I didn't realize the consequences of my decision. And should have factored that in, but didn't. Um, regardless, um, Halloween morning, I'm taking a bath. My husband screams for me that um, our neighbor is on the phone. That there's something desperately wrong with Charlie and to come as fast as possible, which I did. Um, upon arriving, I noticed that... Uh, her water bowl was bone dry. I don't know how long it had been that way, but I guess it really doesn't matter. The result was the same. Um, she passed within minutes of me arriving. When I kissed her goodbye, before they buried her, I heard my spirit guide, Mother Raven, um, and she told me that I would be in the same predicament four years later. And sure enough, um, I kind of put it out of my head, forgot about the warning. I mean, four years is kind of a long time. I should have paid more attention. I didn't. And very early Halloween morning, I found him on the floor of his cage. He was cold, semi-conscious. I knew that even in the state that he was in, if I had brought him to the emergency vet, he still wasn't going to make it. So hubby and I took turns holding him, cuddling him, keeping him warm, telling him how much that we loved him. And a few hours after that, he passed away in my hands. And I still have his urn with his ashes. I miss them both. And I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive myself. She really wants that last piece of pumpkin. Uh, you really want that last piece of pumpkin? Um... But I don't think I'll ever forgive myself because I feel like I let them both down. I know people will say it's not my animal, not my responsibility. Things happen. Where are you going? But I don't see it that way. I try to be the caretaker of all animals in need. And unfortunately this time I felt...
I let them, I let them down. I hope they can forgive me. So wherever you are, Charlie, who was a blue crowned conure, and Freddie the Dancing Birdie, who was my bird, he was a Nanday conure. He was so awesome. He would dance so hard his cage would shake. I hope wherever you are that you can forgive me and that you're in a happier, healthier, better place. Sorry to be such a downer all. I do hope that you all have a happy and safe Halloween. Be well, my friends.